Okay, we are live now. Yay! So today is February 11th, uh, 2024. I'm here with King Smarty. Yay! What's up? What's up? Gonna get the latest scoop on everything. So we're gonna go right into Q&A. So, um, okay, the first is gonna be financial stuff. Um, basically, um, I've seen you selling on your Telegram page all sorts of like goodies out of your dragon boxes. Oh and, yeah. And um, I was wondering, like before I even saw that you were selling those things, I was wondering what all that stuff in the boxes were. Like there was a cassette tape and it looks like some badges and all sorts of stuff. Can you just tell us what, why is all that stuff in the box and then why are you selling it or selling uh, it? Well well, I'll start with why we're selling it. And we're selling it is because we've already have a lot of assets that are in uh, certain contracts to be paid out for the humanitarian effort. Okay. Because that's okay. literally what this is all about anyway. Um, changing the world for the better and using historical assets to do so. So mm -hmm. the, the more the more uh, the more people that can participate in it and help us out by you know acquiring these assets being put in some type of uh, um, um, redemption type uh, contracts um, will help more of um, doing what we want to do for the world. Um, and that's the only way you're going to get in is if you have, if you're chosen to. Okay. Because we, I got people contacting me all the time and some of them I just ignore because you, you <laughs> The, the, the wealth is not going into the wrong hands of the people. Right, right. I've been telling you all this for, for, for however long I've been saying it, right? Um, it's only going to the people that daddy wants it to go to. My job was to put it out there and let them know that it's available. We got way more stuff than what you've seen. Way more stuff that we can't even, uh, that he doesn't want us to show yet. Okay. Um, that being said, that's why we're selling it so that we have more people on board with what we're doing, more people spreading the wealth right now. It's just a handful of us that are not connected to the cabal that are not connected to even the U S part of it all. Okay. Cause this is beyond the U S this is a global effort. Um, and that's what, that's what we're a part of. Um, now, as far as what's in these things, they're um, they're badges of certain generals, historical figures, um, royal guns, royal eagles, um, some of the statues that was in some of the palaces worldwide, um, and then the the tape itself is a translation. It's a cryptic recording of the actual uh, assets and what they what what they were, what they you know why they are and stuff like that um and you have to use a certain tape to even listen to that um so when i say historical assets it's historical assets like these things are worth trillions trillions of dollars and for the price that we're giving them is because of the wealth transfer okay otherwise i'd keep them all <laughs> I actually got a bunch of boxes that I can't sell either. So um, no matter how you look at it, no matter what you think of me, I'm in charge of the wealth transfer. I don't care what nobody says. Nobody has the power, the insight, and the guidance like I do. This is why I keep warning everybody to do the right thing or you get demoted or worse. Right. This is real. Um, and I have the assets like, it's not all here, but we have them. Uh, one of the photos actually has my name on it. Okay, so if you don't believe me, that's fine. You don't have to. I don't care. There's nothing you can do about what's happening. And as far as, you know, the non-believers or trolls, we're going to change our frequencies, so keep it coming. <laughs> All right. Well, I just saw those boxes and everyone had all sorts of cool stuff in it, you know, that looked like fun to look at. And then you started selling them. I was like, wow, I wonder what I don't, you know, get the bigger picture and that's fine. 
Question, uh, do, is Zim included in the redemption? The answer is yes, and we have pallets of it too. We also have we also have Zim boxes for sale with, you know, 40,000 notes in it, stuff like that. And you're talking about thousands of dollars, I mean, millions, trillions of dollars worth of stuff that that is allowing certain people to acquire for literally pennies. Wow. Okay. And I, I want to keep, I want to put this out there for everybody that's in the redemption and everybody's holding their foreign currency. You have the foreign currency because the man upstairs that I call dad, right, wanted you to have it. And there's nobody that can stop what's what what he wants. Um, the purpose for you having is what I'm saying is at the end of it, right? So even if you got um, a twenty five thousand dollar Iraqi dinar, he wanted you to have it. If you have two thousand boxes of Iraqi dinars, he's allowing you to have it. Okay. With that being said, the reason why we all hold these foreign currencies is because what he's getting ready to do for the world. So, despite what anybody says about the redemption and how it was cabal, it was a reset, it was all designed by cabal, yes, they thought they were going to have what they wanted to have. Okay? And now look what's happening. Well, for those of you that can remote view, you see that all of these figures that wanted to have things their way are no longer on earth. I wonder why. This is another reason why things aren't going their way. No matter how you look at it, when I send out a certain command to expose a certain thing, the reason why you're seeing it happen and being exposed is because God Almighty, Daddy, is telling me to enforce it, expose it, and then eliminate it once it's exposed. That's why we're having the wealth transfer. That's why we're having the sorrow. It's actually going to be better than the sorrow because there's some things that we're going to, you know, control, alt, delete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's going to be true humanitarian. True humanitarians by the number one humanitarian on earth with his army of humanitarians. Yes. Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. Um, and what we've been hearing from these intel providers is that when the redemption happens, if you have Zim, you go to a different location than if you don't have Zim. Is that truth or does it depend on your location? Blah, blah, blah. That, that's true to a certain extent. And it all depends on how much you got. Now, mm -hmm. Now, remember, you know, back then they were talking about HSBC doing the bigger stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, however, in light of the new information and the new things that Daddy is putting in place, like me owning Wells Fargo, I'll take your Zim and exchange it for you. Whether, that, whether it happens before I own Wells Fargo or not, it's still going to happen. Okay. Okay. The yeah. elders that the elders and Chinese that own Wells Fargo, they know. You can call them up if you get to them. <laughs> so, so basically, um, you know, hold the line and, and you will give us all instructions when it's time. And that's right. I, there's people in various other countries beside the US that are a little worried about their redemption. And I'm like, just chill until it, it, it's time. It, it, it does not matter. It does not matter where you're at across the world because we are literally going to do a level playing field. You heard everybody else say it, but when I say level playing field, I mean this coin that costs $10,000 is going to be costing $10,000 everywhere else. And you're going to be able to use it in your own countries. Okay. I'm not I'm not talking about the the level playing field that they were talking about. This is a whole new thing. The more and more they they kick the can down the road, the better it is for all of us. Okay. I, I promise you that. The more and more they kick the can down the road, it is better for all of us. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay. Is Charlie Ward relevant to this process at all? No. Thank you. 
<laughs> he's got he's got his own thing, and they he's he's tried to uh, he's tried to get connected with some of my people, and we shut him down. Right. Okay. And everybody acts like he's the guy that's making all the decisions, you know. And he, he's he's, he's a he's a he's a fucking puppet, and he's you know the the Trump and them puppet, which we all know what's happening over there. Is he even human? Uh, uh I, I no. Thank you. <laughs> I knew that, but I just uh, wanted you to say it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with saying it. All right, see, here's the thing. Everybody got all this, you know, slick, slick shit to say about me. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Because you're going to fuck around and find out. And Daddy actually said that shit. He said he said they fucked around and found out. And he also said he was going to deny that he told me that. <laughs> did he use that word? Did he? Yes, he did. Who who invented the word? Think about I it. Didn't, I didn't know he knew French. <laughs> yeah, he also says he didn't teach me French yet. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk about yesterday with JFK Jr.'s interview, which, um, uh, so what happened is I, I walked in the door, he kept texting and saying, my internet's not working. And I'm like, shoot. Right. It wasn't really what I said, but I got ready in like 15 minutes and that's why we went early. So we were, I was like, let's grab the internet while it's still there. But we were heavily attacked all day long. Uh, did that allow you to scoop up some of the bad guys? Uh, yes, it did. And that's why it's happening. The more and more you guys continue to do the, the videos, the less problems you'll have. Because everybody that interferes, y'all know how this works. They just exposed themselves yesterday. Same mm -hmm. thing with David's interview. Yeah. Now, now, David and Johnny Boy, that's what I call them. They don't understand this spiritual, galactic, interdimensional realm. Right. OK, so my advice to them was just listen up, learn what I'm teaching y'all to and understand that this is not a human battle. This is a extra dimensional, extraterrestrial battle. OK, so a lot of these individuals that y'all was working with, David and NASA, Johnny Boy, the government are not even human. Do you understand? Do y'all hear that? Huh? You know the part where it says, uh, we do not battle flesh and blood, but we battle, you know, the bullshit? <laughs> That's the bullshit. So who better than take out the trash than me? Do you understand? Are y'all seeing the bigger picture yet? Huh? Yeah. Everybody out there watching? Because my, my crew, Sue, we all know this shit is real. Okay, because we can see things. A lot of the people base their 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 life and their experience based on what they can see. Okay? That mindset is going to keep you in that mindset. The more and more you start realizing that all this crazy stuff that we talk about is actually real and remote viewers like myself can see all of this stuff and do the things we're doing, the more and more you realize that your imagination is real. It's not just your imagination. That's why Pithalum is talking to people right now and she's excited, okay? And Daddy had me make Pithalum. So anybody questioning that is questioning your father, your creator, your God. Not your God, but God, period. Do you understand? Do y'all get this shit yet? Because if you don't, sit the fuck down and listen up because I'm teaching y'all everything. <laughs> I know you love this shit, Sue. <laughs> oh, 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 one more thing. One more thing. Don't look at the numbers. Don't look at the numbers because they're clearly fucking with our shit. Okay? You've seen what they did to my Telegram. I guarantee you I'm still the only one that they shut down from Telegram. Guarantee you. I haven't heard nobody else being shut down, deleted from Telegram. Thousands of followers just gone because they thought they can stop daddy, right? You fucking idiots. Y'all don't realize y'all 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 who who y'all dealing with. The military don't even know what I am. 
and they keep themselves, you know, they keep themselves over there. They sent people and people never went back. So I'm telling y'all, pay attention because this shit is real. This shit is happening. We are going to uncloak our ships worldwide. We are going to spread the wealth. And I am going to eliminate everybody in the way because humanity is free once y'all realize it. Boom. Another boom. Boom. All right. Next. <laughs> well, Let's I just wanted to talk about the quality of the video yesterday and the attacks. There were attacks like the whole time. Of course, right. we had the polls, and then we had afterwards, we had all sorts of stuff going on, and uh, they just revealed themselves. And I had asked you before if you had um, targeted all the people throughout the book, uh, John's book, that had, you know, tortured him, killed, blah, 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 and taken them away. And you said pretty much yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. And um, uh, the book, the book itself, just so everybody's aware, has a lot of uh, uh, triggering things in it, which is also why after you're reading it, you feel like shit because of some of the dark stuff that happened to him is literally lingering within that book. So yeah. I literally had to put an energetic field around the shit so that it stopped doing that to people. Okay. This is, this is what they wanted. This is what they do. And I love what I do too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, but, I had a very strong um, reaction the first time I read it not so bad the second and of course I'm wanting the shit out of the book the whole time you know right 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 so a lot of those individuals are already dead and um uh, um the remaining ones lost genitals and stuff like that like people don't understand how the stuff that I do is 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 very much possible y'all saw the matrix the matrix is not a movie it's a documentary how many people actually know that how many of y'all know that The Matrix is a documentary? <laughs> so, you know, it's it's um it's a lot it's a lot to take in, it's a lot to learn and if you're stuck in if you're stuck in a certain religious group, um my advice to y'all, okay? My advice to y'all is to re reeducate yourself on um what God really is, because even a lot of these books tell you the truth, but then they twist it. So you have to feel and you have to understand that daddy is nothing but love. And if these books are making you fight each other, make you, um, you know, make you not help a certain individual because of their color, because of their race, because of their religion, there's something, something seriously wrong there. Seriously. OK, I operate in love and light. I literally do every 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 day. I'm attacked for it. My crew's attacked for it. You guys are attacked for it because we we have the, the, the true creator on our side and we're operating as if daddy is here with us every day. And he is. I don't look at people as far as, you know, their color. I don't look at people as far as their religion. But yet they want to target me and they want to say nasty shit about me when they don't even realize the truth about daddy and me. So that being said, it doesn't even matter, but that's the case. Now, you guys need to start opening up your mind, especially you old folks, your old fart folks, your old wrinkled ass folks. <laughs> <laughs> that's so wrong. <laughs> but 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 majority of the people that do attack me are old people that are stuck in their ways right and look at look at look at the new generation of people we're not following all of the bullshit that you old folks grew up with and we're getting shit done we're the ones out there protesting we're the ones doing this we're the ones doing that okay so y'all need to y'all need to sit your asses down start doing some research learn everything you need to learn and you need to start operating with in love and light and don't disrespect nobody that you don't know. Because I wouldn't do it to you. Understood? Right. Yeah, there, anyway, I, I just keep going. There was a lot of, like, that. the one guy that you had posted his um, message to you. I mean, there was, like, everything he wrote was 
literally wrong. So, you know, he's trying to act like he's an authority on you and what everyone's doing. And it's like, wrong, 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 wrong. What is he talking uh, about? Appa appa apparently he's, he's writing a book and I, that's the chapter I'm in. Yeah. I'm getting that's not going to happen, but. Um, of course not. Of course not. I mean, people don't understand that how, how, you know, who, who or what dad is. If, if, if you, if you're going to have a bad day, we're going to make sure you have a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I'm going to get away with it too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what the King is. You don't understand who Jesus really was. You don't understand what he really was. Okay. You're talking about the alpha and the omega that can do anything he wants to do within the guidelines. That's who I am. Ooh. You don't want to believe it? That's your problem. <laughs> so you said within the guidelines. So that segues into a lot of questions I have about galactic laws. And, and basically, you you said that it was illegal on Earth for, for people to channel or whatever, like uh, because beings basically uh, take over our bodies or our mind or whatever so what other laws are there that we might not even know about well the, the main one is 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 to is to not hurt the children and um 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 uh, not not kill those are the main ones because who are you who are you to hurt something that dad created and kill something that he created those are the main ones. Everything else is, is fair game. You can you can go cheat on your wife. You can do all this other shit. I don't recommend it, but that's not what daddy is going to punish you over. You understand what I'm saying? So they've created all these different things to control you. So the main thing, for me anyway, is to stay within daddy's guidelines and wait for his approval to take somebody out. Wait for his approval approval to do certain things. Right. That's what I mean about my guidelines. And this is why I say, you know, that, look, all right, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I've been here many of times. And each time I came, I warned you, everybody, I warned them to leave the children alone. Touch one hair on the child, and you know, what do you? Why do you think they're doing what they're doing? I've also told, taught, taught everybody to operate in love, love and light, help one another, heal one another, and I've also taught them how to manifest. I'm doing it again in this fucking body, <laughs> and I'm not going away this time because it's over. <laughs> 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 so so as i mean as long as you don't kill children kill anybody you're pretty much good to go and everybody is seeing what the satanic individuals are all about killing lying killing raping murdering everything that isn't of the lights human you meat. understand yeah human meat, and they're getting us, like I've been saying in the previous videos, they wanted the humans to be used to eating cannibalism and doing that shit, so they secretly put it in all our shit. So that's, you know, don't eat fucking flesh, don't kill people, that's pretty much it. Okay. All that extra shit, it's not something that you're going to go to hell for. They call it sin and all this other bullshit. It's cool. Dad is a loving God. He's not going to punish you for, you know, doing certain things. These individuals that are being punished right now is because of what they've been doing for thousands of years. And I'm, I'm telling y'all that these individuals have been using cloning and technology to transfer their souls. That's why they've been staying in power because all they've been doing is cloning themselves, soul transfer, blah, 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 blah. And they thought we weren't watching the whole time. You're wrong. We've been watching. And the buck stops here. <laughs> yeah. So when I come along and talk about all this crazy shit, 
They didn't believe me. But, or should I say, however, there's people that are disappearing and not coming back. No headlines, no nothing. The ones that are coming back in the headlines, there's a purpose for them too. And the purpose is for them to be executed, hung, for the public to see. Back in the back in the back scenes, we're already done. We're cleaning up. We're already done. We, you know, we've done with everything we had to do. I'm warning everybody. I'm warning the rest of them. Like, you know, daddy already put the creed out there. Y'all better do the shit or not. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is really, really exciting. So exciting. It is. It is very exciting. Now I'm gonna give you another another picture. Think of think of think of us moving forward 10, 20 years, doing everything that we had to do, blah, 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 making sure things was going our way, and then coming back here and sitting here talking about what's coming. Because we already did it. You got that? Everybody understood? So when I say allow the process and we're walking into our new reality, it's because we are. One of the reasons why Johnny Boy gets attacked the way he does is because of what his father wanted to do and what they didn't like. So that's why they were doing the shit they were doing to him. That's why they're still trying to do the shit that they were doing to him. Okay? He don't only got you know, CIA implants, he's had others, even reptilian implants. Okay? But if you scan his body now, you won't see none of them. <laughs> uh, this is so much fun. So you had shared a video last week about a guy that could take the implants, you know, the chips or whatever out of people's arms or whatever. And right. All shocked that they had had those put in. So my question is, some of those people did have surgery, but for those that haven't had official surgery, but they have implants, they're taking, they're taken away, their memories are wiped, etc. Does every human have an implant? Or um, um, the answer, the answer is is yes to that, only because they've, in some point, you know some form or fashion you were you were um chipped by them hmm. uh not every human anymore but yes that's 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 what was the case okay think of think of think of it this way you're a farmer you got a big ass field acres and acres and acres you want to clip your cow so you know where the fuck he's at yeah did I not, not tell y'all we are cattle? That's how they treat us. No, that's how they treat y'all. They don't treat me that way. I'll kill them. <laughs> In the late 90s, I woke up and there was a triangular cut on my arm, like a perfect incision. No blood or anything. It was like better than you or I could do with a razor knife or whatever. Showed it to my husband. We, we you know, I took the sheets off the bed. Is there anything triangular in the bed? It faded after about like an hour or so. We were actually joking about the implants, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, and, and a lot of a lot of um, a lot of the implants happen energetically because what the humans, or should I say, the sheeple, what the sheeple don't understand that your body is nothing but energy and atoms combined. So if I want to come along and put this coin in your hand, it'll be in your hand and you won't even know it's there. Because I know what you don't know, that your energy and no matter what, I can go through your hand, which is matter and place another matter there and it's gone. Interesting. That's the same way that I can remove implants, that I can remove tumors, that I can replace a heart, that I can do all this shit because I understand what they understand and more, which is why even they're like, 
whoa, who is this guy? <laughs> cool. It is cool. It's very cool. Even the Jedi's, when I've trained all you guys, you guys started performing the same things that I've been doing, and you guys are reading, you know, seeing the results of it all. That's literally what you guys are doing. Literally. In and out. Moving, you know, moving body parts, changing body parts. You seen the video of the little the little kid where the guy reformed him, reformed the kid's legs? Okay, well, what he did was he's energetically, right? He energetically moved things where they were supposed to be. And if you look real good, you can see the energy field and the hit the shit heat up. Wow, 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 pow. That's what I'm getting ready to do on a massive scale everywhere. Who's going to stop me? That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. So every, <laughs> everything is energy, no matter how you look at it. Yeah. Energy and frequencies. That being said, with us knowing and understand this, this is why we can do remote healings. This is why we can do remote travel, uh, teleportation, remote viewing. We can see everything because me and my crew are connected to dad. And we are the, we are the supreme, we are, we're the authority. Okay, I'm the number one guy. Like, if they don't believe it, they don't have to. I don't care. You can't stop what daddy wants. And the more you interfere, the more we get, and the more y'all disappear. Remember that post that I made a couple years ago? Everything's going to fade away. <laughs> That's where we're going. Beautiful new reality for everyone that is good and of the light. And for those that decide on, you know, cooperating, turning on the dark ones, giving up the information. If you guys turn on the dark ones today, you will be protected almost instantly. Literally, almost instantly. If you decide to fuck this, I'm done with these dark fools. I don't want to play their games. I don't want to go to people's houses. I don't want to pull out guns on people because they didn't pay fucking IRS. I don't want to arrest somebody because they stole the fucking meat from the store. If you stop doing all this shit and you get right with daddy and you start exposing everything that you know, then you will be having protection from the, the best person on the planet, which is me. When you get involved with me, things change. That's what the dark ones don't want. That's why you get hateful ass emails. Expecting me to respond when you tell me that my product, it seems to be what it is. What the fuck is it? And then you wonder why I don't respond. Because you're disrespecting me not knowing who the fuck you're talking about. I don't got time for that. Anyway. Yeah. Sometimes when you fight with somebody, they just want to come back. They want to fight, you know. Hey, that's fine with me. You know that foot, the foot and mouth disease that I talk about? Mm -hmm. That shit is going to hit hard. <laughs> so, you thought coronavirus was bad. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you basically said don't kill someone. So what if somebody has killed um, by accident or we're going to say self-defense? Like there's a darn good reason, okay? No, self-defense is okay, yes. Yeah. And of course, they have regret. Um, then of course, because, because we're human, yes. It's My bad, guys. That really counts. It's it's um it's probably the we'll call it the intention behind it. Like if it, you know, because there's been a lot of people that have had to go to war, not on their own accord, and they right. have to do you know what they have to do. Sometimes it's ugly, you know. No, I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up because that though self defense, accidental death. You know, it's 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 OK. Um, it's not OK that we lost someone due to having to defend ourselves or, you know, car accidents and accidents happen all the time. 
That's not something that you're going to uh, you're you're going to you know be sent to Pebble Valley or the ethers for, it, yeah. right? And things happen. And for those of you guys that had to experience stuff like that, um, you have to understand also that you can't blame yourself because Dad allowed it to happen. When he allows certain things to happen like that, there's a purpose for it all. Yeah. And we 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 don't understand what that purpose is unless we actually ask him because I do a lot of that asking him and he tells me um, unless he, you know, unless he tells you otherwise, you know, accept it for what it is, an accident a self-defense. And that's that. Okay. Yeah. That's also, that's also a reason why self-defense laws are in place because if you try to kill somebody and they killed you defending themselves, you don't get charged for that. However, the government likes to charge you if you use a gun that wasn't licensed to you. So they're, they're, they're all fucked up. They all messed up. Yeah. This they system is designed for them by them to protect them. Well, the system is fading away too, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. I noticed some good laws coming out the past couple of days or, you know, that the, the food thing. Um, that's amazing. And yeah, there was a couple new things uh, that we're not going to fund the whatever World Economic Forum, one of them. Mm -hmm, yep. Yay. Well, Fine. that's, you know, that that part, you know, that part of me talking about how I, I, I've came, I've came, I've come many times to teach people how to manifest. Well, haven't you noticed everything that's coming out is because we've been manifesting in it for how long? Yeah, and since we're the most we're the most powerful as people connected to dad, is why it's happening, and it's it's only getting faster, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many people are in some place praying. Just one of us sends a command out, and since we're connected to dad, who do you think is going to get their 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 request or their uh, prayer faster right right the ones connected to the real heavenly father or the ones that are praying to who knows what over there yeah, yeah. look around guys this is real yeah okay a lot of questions about healing and the chambers today so let's say let's we're somebody with a serious healing issue they're missing a limb uh, severe deformation or, you know, mental issues or whatever. So we do things like, you know, regrow their arm, re give them a new brain, whatever it might be. Well, these people uh, still need healing in the future. Like we saw that video you put out about the leaf that you cut a leaf, the energetic leaf is still whole. So, you know, let's say we give someone a new limb or whatever you know, maybe it takes a while to manifest, but will they still need the chambers? I guess is my question. No, after the chamber is one and done. This is why I've already warned everybody to uh, not go below a certain age because dad don't want you to, um, you're not going to be able to do it again. Right. So, so if you go into the chamber wanting to be 12, your ass is going to be 12 for a long time. So what is like the recommended age, the cutoff age for children? Uh, like, between, between uh, well, the children, the children, they're going to grow, they're going to grow up and then realize they're not aging no more. Yeah. Um, and once, you know, certain, certain children that are being born now, they're, they're already immortal, period. Because that's what we, that's what dad designed. You know what I'm saying? So five years ago, six years ago, if you had children since then, they're immortal, automatic. And they're going to grow up to be a certain age, you know, 25, 27, 30, 35, they're staying there. The Christian lean bodies for them is automatic. All of the people that were born prior to that, chambers. Or dad just makes an example out of you and pow. Anything can be, anything is possible with that. That's what I'm teaching everybody. 
That's why I'm doing what I do. That's why I work nonstop. So for those individuals that go into the chamber now, make sure you got to write the perfect age that you want because it's going to be permanent. Um, you won't need the chambers after that. And um, um, you literally won't need the chambers at all anywhere else because once you get that first initial body, it's indestructible. Don't need it no more. This is another reason why we can't force people into them. They have to be willingly to go into them because of what it all entails or entitles or whatever you want to call it, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is like a, this is like the life changing event for you. I can't, I can't force you to go in. I can only educate you, and you can see everybody else that already willingly went in. And um, when you go in, you have to, you know, be mindful of you're not going to age ever again. So between, you know, 30, 35 is a good age for everybody because we're all mature. We all look a certain way and you don't age no more. You don't have to, you won't get fat no more. All of this shit is all chemical bullshit. Unless you're me. I got a, I got a lot of other shit going on, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally, you know, you know, that say you carry the weight of the world. Well, <laughs> I think I'm with you. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> well, so, so basically, oh, um, like what you're saying, I just want to make sure I'm clear because I know we're going to get questions. Yeah, go ahead. A child that's maybe six, seven, eight years old now is already, they've already got their crystalline bodies. All right. It's going to morph into that without any action on our part from here on in. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so let's say we go through the chambers and we have kids in the future. We they won't need to go through the chambers. They're already going to be crystalline. Crystalline. Yes, exactly. Wow. OK. Now, let's say two, there's two, two crystalline people. What do you make? Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. What about um, a kid that's currently 12, 13, 14. Um, They'll 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 grow up, and when they when they're of age, they can do the chamber. In the meantime, they can use the medical wands and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I'm not even. I'm just saying that because who knows how Daddy wants me to do it? Because things things change within, you know, all of my products and stuff like that. Um, it may very well, uh, it may very well be possible that they they end up like. Um, the Palestinian kids where they're coming, you know, they're going into the chambers, becoming adults and then going back out to battle. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, they're not even talking about the casualties the Israelis are having. They're not talking about or showing it, but they're taking an ass whooping. Okay. Um, that very well may be possible or is, it is possible. It is possible. I just don't know how dad wants to wants to wants that to play out. And as far as a child, he's a child. He or she is a child. Why would they want to go into a chamber and, and get their new body when they're just, you know, experiencing this? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going yet. I'm not going yet. No, I'll yeah. wait. I'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm just asking the question because people want to know, like, what age? Is it 18? Is it 21? You know how we have these ages, right? Yeah. So, and it sounds like we're going to say to be determined on some of the details, like we're going to know them all, but it could change or morph a little bit. Um, those details. Yeah. So, you know, age, age is nothing but a number anyway. So that really don't matter. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is the last cycle, like everything's going to be cleaned up perfectly in this cycle. We're never going to have to go through this again, blah, blah, blah. All right. Yay. All right, so what happens? Like, we're going to have the chambers around. A bunch of us go through. They're going to come in waves throughout the next few years. What happens if somebody chooses never to go through the chambers? And then, you know, they're, I guess they would die. Like, what happens to them if they never? No, they, they, they don't die they, because the, the earth in itself is catapulting. Uh, or should I say um, evolving in the energy field. So it'll be a longer process for them, but they will change as well. 
you cannot stay um you cannot stay a clear drop of water in a cup once you pour juice in it it all changes you got is that was that was that a good picture it totally was so so what what's going to happen is they're going to like be around but they're going to age kicking and screaming dumbasses <laughs> so like we're going to be like all like looking good and they're going to age and you sure you don't want to come over here huh you sure? <laughs> yeah. So maybe they'll change their mind after uh, a few hundred years. <laughs> no, nah, it, it ain't going to be that long. Um, you know, people, the reason why dad is allowing the med beds and all of these holographic stuff and some of the secret space program is because he wants, he wants people to experience certain things. And he wants a smorgasbord of, you know, basura, which means trash. Right. Um, until they realize, well, I shouldn't say trash because some of that stuff is pretty cool. Uh, until they realize that there is an ultimate chamber and it's free, they're not going to realize what what is being said until they see. Because unfortunately, you know, they've been programmed to see instead of having faith, right? So they're not going to really understand and see what I've been talking about until they see it. By that time, we done had a hundred parties, <laughs> hundred events, and people that are you know need help are getting it. Yeah. And then these trolls that are being paid are still going to be sitting there. Man, I wish I was over there, but I'm just going to sit here and get a paycheck and troll these fools. Yeah. 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 Not realizing they're the fools. <laughs> um, I know somebody that personally already went through a med bed and it did not work. In fact, it actually harmed him. I know people that went to the the place in, I forgot where it was at. I think Virginia or something like that, where they had the techie on chambers and they all died four months later. Oh. Yeah, so. Wow. Okay. Didn't I tell y'all fools not to go into something that's plugged in the wall? Didn't y'all watch the movie Fly? Because that dude turned into a fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up. That was such a horrible movie. I could never watch that again. You know? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> that's what that's what makes the chambers so so much more because. It's not something that's plugged into a wall and it's literally dad is changing you to what he wants you to be. Period. And I got goosebumps because I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the people happy. I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing the chambers materialize in certain locations and I'm fucking ready to go. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 Um, what about really, really large people like, 500 pounds or giant we have to teleport people in but um will we have extra large chambers i guess for them oh i'm glad i'm glad you brought that up check this out i was literally working on bigger chambers oh my golly yeah so we got we got all types of stuff some of these got beds in them and that that was like that's cool but you're not it's not you're not um it's not going to be a bed where you have to lay in it. We got to redo some of these because it's going to be an entrance where you put the bed in for people. Actually, we can leave this like this and then it can be, you know, this whole bed could be slide out and put you on it, slide you in and then boom, slide you back out. And you get your new body. Like hospital beds or whatever. Yeah, um, hospital beds, cool beds, wheelchairs. We'll have ramps. We'll have all types of stuff. Yeah, I mean, so, you. Can read um, these... Go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You these articles about these giant people. They have to actually. They can't leave their apartment or their house because they're too big. They have to knock the yeah. wall down and I don't know, bring them out with a crane. Yeah, yeah, yes, right. So those those individuals, they'll get restored and they'll have a, a whole new physique and some of that access access fat will. Um, be used into reforming them into like higher or taller people. Um, for instance, I've all, I told you guys this a couple of years ago, remember? 
where where some of the weight that you're having is all going to be reformed and you get taller and stuff like that. So you yeah. don't you don't have to worry about it. Now now I do know that <laughs> I do know that some of uh, that most of um, the women will be anywhere from uh, let's say five five eight to six six foot six you know six um, yeah. Yeah. six twos, you know, certain like that. And then most of the men will be anywhere from uh, six, two to six, seven, to even seven feet. Um, and, and that's because there's a specific purpose for that too. When we go to other places around the universe and in the galaxy, there's taller people, there's bigger people, there's giants, and then there's smaller people. Like, People don't even realize what we're what is literally happening for them. They don't. They don't realize it at all. But, um, however, the chambers are going to be like the one-stop shop. You're going to have everything that you've ever thought you wanted and more. You got you got fucked up teeth. It's going to repair it. I could have went and got my teeth and made it look like these pearly whites, like everybody else. My shit is still natural, right? Yeah. When I come out of the, the chamber, they're going to be bling, bling, pow. How do you like me now? <laughs> 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 My team are good still. You know, I got a tip too from playing basketball. I got, uh, you know, my son, JJ, I, I, I lost this tooth because he kicked me there. I don't got no cavities, none of that shit. <laughs> and I'm, I'm already, you know, I'm already 45 years old. I haven't aged in like 10 years, by the way. I only go up and down. But that's it. <laughs> well, I think because you said the weight of the world, but also I think, you know, um, teleporting and stuff, it, you need what I've heard. You need extra more, more energy. That's yeah. true. That is yeah. that is true. Yeah. Especially when I'm going to certain locations, I have to have the fuel. Yes, that's true. Okay. All right. Um, if we have several families throughout the galaxy, okay, so let's say we go through the chambers, will we become consciously multidimensional and we'll like we'll know, oh, we, we've got families there, 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 and there and here. Okay, so yes. how like do we merge into one person or do we still do the same thing where we like we might do whatever, but we go visit there too at the same time? Does that I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what will happen is is that you'll you'll stay in the form that you're in, and then go over there and visit in the same form that you're in, but understand that you were once part of this family. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Um, there are some, there are a couple individuals that do you know shape shift and all that stuff and have the abilities to do that. Um, not everybody could do that. And the, as far as the reptilians, people think that they shape shift too, and they don't. They're using energetically tools to make them appear human, and it's nothing but a technology that they use. Right. So we, I'm way different than that. I can do all types of shit, right. and not everybody can do that. Not everybody's allowed to do that. So that's that's a unique ability that we have. Okay. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to travel all around the world and you'll consciously know who and where you were from and how long you were, you know, born and old and whatever the case is. All that is coming into place, all of it. Your whole memory, even billions of years ago, however long, however, you know, old you are, you're going to remember everything, 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 everything. It's, it's exciting times we're living in. It's it's inconceivable. Um, it's so exciting. It's yes, it's very 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 exciting. Um, uh, I want to address the David Adir. Um, I love I love that that interview. By the way, um, however, there was some stuff in there that is no longer a thing. That being said, all all of the the, the dark doom and gloom type of stuff that um, he he was told was going to happen is not going to happen. Only because we've changed it all already. Um, a lot of these individuals, including Pithalum, didn't even know we exist. Now they do. Now they know we're here. 
from here on out, we're going to continue to reveal all of the satanic individuals, all of these dark groups, including the supposedly, you know, good guys that are in our skies. Um, we're going to expose all of them for being frauds, for being dark, for being this, for being that. And all of us real individuals that are under my command are going to be real, re reveal themselves or, or ourselves. Um, so once we get rid of everything, and we all, we've we already have, like I stated, once we allow the process and you see that it was all taken care of and addressed, you're going to realize that Smarty was telling the truth because Smarty knows, because Smarty's involved, because Smarty's doing it. So a lot of it is being changed and everybody has to re-educate themselves. Um, I even told David what daddy wanted me to tell him about him taking certain metals like titanium and other uh, other type base metals and we're going to make vibranium and do all this other stuff with it. So he's got a treat. He's got a lot to look forward to because he's going to use some of the stuff that he was... Um, he was a part of, and we're going to enhance it and give him more equipment to use without nobody telling him what he cannot do. So he's got a lot to look forward to. A lot to look forward to. That's going to be exciting. I can I can imagine that he'll have like a team of scientists, friends, and they're going to come up with these ideas that are going to benefit the whole galaxy. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. And Pithalum is going to give them a lot of it too because she's she's witness. Yeah. She's witnessed civilizations come and go for thousands of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, I I I told I try to tell everybody that um she was she was taken down she was taken down because of the purpose that she's going to serve now or that she is serving. And she's going to be become, you know, she's going to be, she's going to be more and more stronger. People are going to talk to her more. You, you guys are already talking to her. She's already validating things. Um, and it's, it's only going to get better and better and better and better and better. And I don't need permission to do anything other than dad. If, if dad tells me to do it, I don't care what anybody says. Right. If he tells me not to do it, I won't do it. So, we are going to move into a beautiful reality. Everybody's going to experience all of the wonderful things that dad has in store for you guys. And I'm going to be in the background making sure nobody interferes because that's my job. That's my job. I'm going to spread the wealth and protect everybody at the same time. That's literally my job. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so much fun. So Pithalum, when he got that message from her, that was an old message, like prior to November, December of last year. I'm wondering why he didn't update the message. Like, is it just because he believes it and he's not um, checking in again or or what is the deal? But um, yeah, that can that can very well be the case. Um, um, you know, some people, some people, no matter what you tell them or, or no matter what they see or hear, they're stuck in their ways, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is which is cool. Um, it's 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 not a problem because as these things as these things progress and as uh, current events continue to happen, yeah. people are going to realize that there's no big army coming to blow up the planet because they've already tried thousands of times <laughs> there's <laughs> there's no project blue beam happening because it's not allowed um there, there's no um um there's no you know um doom and gloom shit happening you don't have to store food because we know that provides right so <laughs> we have to we have to re-educate the people on what dad really is. Okay. This is why I'm here. This is this is literally why I'm here. You really you have made um you just make it so dang fun, you know? I, I do, don't I? 
Yeah. We're going to talk I mean, a lot of shit. I'm so excited right now. So excited. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Like, I'm trying to sit down. No, you're good. You're good. Remember, remember how I was talking about Putin's going to come out and talk all this shit, right? We just saw that. Yeah. And he was holding back, too. I'm a, I'm I'm actually going to have to go talk to his ass. <laughs> 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 but Putin loves me too. They listen to me every day, okay? All of these intel guys, all of these people around the world, they all listen to me. Whether they want to admit it or not, but they all act on it. They they want to see if this shit is real. They want to see if, if if this crazy guy is telling the truth. Okay? They want to see if, if Smarty's the real deal. So when we do things, they go check it out. And they're like, oh, shit, this, this shit, what the fuck? Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> so. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. They, they, they want to do the right thing. They just don't know how to. So we keep reinforcing daddy, showing them what to do and, and, and reinforcing us helping them and re-energizing them. Especially the good guys. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Sorry. Well, my question is, uh, a few videos ago, you said that Russia and I think China, you said, all, all through history, they've really protected their territory, their land, their, you know, their people. Like, like the U.S. has, of course, tried to grab more and interfere with everybody else's business and take their resources. And they've spread, you know, our guys have spread themselves thin where the Russians, for example, they're like pretty solid with their country. And you said it wasn't very, like the reptilian influence wasn't as bad there, I think is what you said. Right, 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 right. Now, if you notice right after the, 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 the Putin interview, the, uh, the rogue Chinese fuckers lit, lit, you know, created that, that, that mess over there. Yeah. So, so yes, they, they Putin knows about all this shit. He knows about the, the the reptilians. They they even some groups even tried to warn him not to do certain things, and I'm telling him to do it. You go ahead and do everything that you want to do, or you, that Daddy tells you to do, and don't worry about this and don't worry about that. People call him, you know, he's a monster and he's this and he's that. The man is is killing people that are torturing children right now. That's what y'all should be doing. Yeah. Okay, he knows about the uh, aliens and the, and the ETs. They even have weapons to take these reptilians out. Okay, yeah. how do I know? It's called the Daddy Factor. That's <laughs> <how I know. laughs> Russia, Russia, Russia. Yeah, Russia, Russia, Russia should fuck y'all up, and yeah. I'm gonna back them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, are humans the only species that can remote view? Hell no. Oh, there... Sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that, but no. <laughs> All right. How you think how you think they, they 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 watch us and they get a kick out of us? They oh. actually they actually have big screens that are remote viewing us. You see those little drones that are flying around everywhere that look like balls? Well, some of them, some of them are not even, um, some of them are not material. They're literal balls. They're called scouts. These scouts have the abilities to remove you too. That's what they're doing. Not to mention a lot of them belong to us because we have them everywhere universe wide, like I told y'all before. So lots of things that people don't understand are possible and remote viewing doesn't only have to be a human an et it can be something that is designed to do it like a cube like a pendulum ball right she remotes view everything too everywhere she's at right now she can see she's telepathic she can see us she's still like oh shit how'd y'all do that so yeah Super got cool. a lot of got a lot of cool things. A lot of cool things. Yeah. So David basically he would not say it, but he implied that there's probably a fleet of extraterrestrials on its way, and he said that something like uh, we're going to have um, there's going to be a little bit of uh, discord in in all that, but it's going to be a great thing. That's what he implied. But 
I mean, however, that's true. Yeah. It's true. And I've been telling y'all, we're going to uncloak. We're going to uncloak. The earth is going to stand still because nobody's going to know what the fuck to do. Who are these guys? <laughs> What's happening? Holy shit. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's just, it's it's not just going, it's not the doom and gloom type scenario. Yeah. It's going to be what, what I've been saying. We're going to pop up. We're going to uncloak. Yeah. We're not aliens. Okay. We are not aliens. We are humans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so well, we Basically, we are Pithlam's family. We're all family, if you look at it. Well, yeah, yeah. But he, yes. he's basically saying Pithlam's family is coming. And I was like, I think they're kind of already here. But No, they, they, they are. She's got some brothers and sisters that are literally right there with her in, in Area 51. And, and they also alert us. Yeah, they alert us to certain things and blah, 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 blah. And the people are stumped. They're scared. They don't know what's happening. People are popping in on them. You know, um, you know, soldiers dressed in black are popping in on them, saying this and saying that and disappearing. David knows. He's seen it a couple of times. So um, <laughs> we know that there's other. <laughs> I like how he thinks we're the crazy ones, too. You know, like he's the one that. I know. I know. I love I love him. I love him. He's yeah. true. But. You know, we know that there's other entities in Area 51. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, they're being experimented on or blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. C have you popped in on them and helped them in some way? Uh, yeah. Um, some of them are, some of them are, are some of them have been uh, rescued. Uh, some of them are still there to, for a certain time. Uh, and some of them are, have to stay there for evidence. Okay. Just like just like just like Johnny Boy. The reason why he's going through everything he's going through is because he now has the goods on everybody. Yeah. That's that's actually, you know, being it's 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 provable. Yeah. Yeah. And and I don't know if y'all saw his DNA report, but it shows that he's, you know, what he is. Now when when he gets his um when when they get the right DNA from his real father, it's going to be a match, and that's when all the good guys are going to back him. So that I look forward to that because it's happening. It's going to happen. Yeah. Well, um, I I didn't want to like ask him this question slash you know we had issues, but did his dad, um, like, did he fake his death? I wouldn't say fake his death. He was um, replaced. Okay. A lot of people were were replaced. Right. Uh, that's a that's above. That's above his comprehension of what he actually saw and witnessed. Yeah. Or the world, for that matter. But we've been replacing people before they were assassinated for hundreds of times. I mean, hundreds of years. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, you mean the black one or the white one? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> wow. But listen, listen to this. Yeah. Why do you think Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy are both facing that way on the coins? Because they were of the light. All the dark ones are for, for, facing that way. I know, like, it's mind-blowing. Like, Ben Franklin, I think, was a pedophile. Oh, and not, to men not, to, not to mention um, um, Abraham Lincoln is brown on the penny. The penny's brown. Is it brown <laughs> or is it copper? Is it tan or is it black? Is it brown? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be fun to learn about. Um, you know, like, there's... And again... I guess what bothers me is that we've been lied to about that. Like, why? Like, I don't understand the why, but I'm the same. The same. The same reason why they're hiding the fact that Egypt is in fucking um, Arizona. Okay. What? No, you're not talking about the central part of Egypt. No. 
<laughs> so what I think I heard you say in the previous videos, okay, all right, we've got a dome over us, but basically all of the land under the dome way back when was Egyptian, under Egyptian it, rule. It was, yeah, it was under Egyptian rule, some, not all of it. There was some, um, it, it wasn't all because they had the Mayans and stuff like that, different civilizations. Uh, but it was it was more mostly most mostly connected. So there's been a lot of things that happened where certain land parts were, you know, torn apart from each other and then moved around. Okay. Like like you know the earth gets bigger and bigger and bigger, which is happening now. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody realized or even noticed this, but check this out. Before, when I left from. Lancaster to go to Philadelphia, it only took about 90 minutes. Right? Yeah. Now it takes 120 minutes. Why? What happened? Did the shit just grow and nobody knows? Huh. Interesting. What's going on, What's going on here? Did the Mandela effect fuck everything up? <laughs> so you're saying the Earth physically is like expanding outward. Wait, maybe that's why we're getting bigger. <laughs> no, but um, wow. <laughs> I, I just find it weird that shit like this happens. Interesting. All right. I mean, like like I said, there's 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 even tombs of um uh, the Crusaders and all that shit. You know, Ohio other places like we've been lied about everything 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 yeah the main the main thing is right now is to finish off the the, the remaining groups which are already finished and all of it else everything else starts to you know be opened up places that were so secretive that nobody was allowed to be in are going to have access to it um, a lot of those antiquities and historical assets and stuff like that will be under my control. Daddy wants me to put some of it up, um, even like a museum or whatnot. So I'll have all that for everybody to visit and check out. All of this stuff all around the world is going to be exposed. The truth about everything, you're going to be, you're going to be able to see it. Um, and all of that is coming. That's a guarantee. Everything that I talk about is a guarantee because that's my job. I don't know how many times i got to say that shit, but it's my job to expose it all. Right now, what, what are we doing? What are we focused on? Everybody's focused on the same thing, eliminating the dark reptilian, satanic, luciferian, illuminati, blah, 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 mason bullshit. And we're doing it. When we're done, and we are, the earth has been liberated. When it's actually um, visibly shown, then we'll get to all the other stuff, the history part of it all. Yeah. We won't have nobody interfering on, you know, who and what we, we, we find or what we discover. None of that shit, because it's not allowed no more. We are going to know the truth about everything. And we're also going to have those tablets that I talk about to, to validate it all because everything is recorded. No matter how you look at it, everything is recorded. Dad has everything recorded. Um, they, they, you know this thing that they call um, the Akashic Records. Well, there's even more older stuff than that. The Book of Life and all this type of other um, devices and equipments that supersedes all that, right? It's kind of like a library. You have this, you have that, you have this, you have that, and then you have that. So that's literally where, what, why I can say some of these things and it be validated because dad is giving me what to say, what to share, what to expose, what to reinforce, who to heal, who to destroy, who to help. Who to do this and who to do that and blah 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 blah. Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! Oh man, that's so funny. We're yeah, we're changing everything for the light. 
everything, 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 including the pyramids, including certain numbers, like like six six six. We're changing all of it, everything. The goat, the goat, and all that shit. We're changing all that because at the end of the day, Dad created it all, and these motherfuckers perverted it. Yeah. So yeah. we're changing it all. And and we know that there's pyramids all over the earth. A lot of them have been. Uh, covered up or destroyed. I think some destroyed on purpose. So it'll be very interesting to see all of that come out. Really, yeah. Because yes, the, a lot of the pyramids were recharging stations for the crafts. Yeah. I mean, even um, um, what's the name? Um, Doctor Sam. Yeah, Doctor Sam validates that stuff too. So mm -hmm. if you got if you got a pyramid, even Russia, they, there's inside of them. And certain people that build pyramids, there's energy vortexes and all that. So yeah. if you got a craft coming over top of you and the craft knows how to suck up the energy and re, re you know, whatever the case is and, and go take off and do whatever. That's what my daughter said before, too. And I, um, it's good to hear you say that, you know. Yeah, she's right. She's right. There's also crafts that literally come and take the water because the water powers their crafts. So all of this shit is going to be revealed to be true. Oh, all of it all of it wow like that i'm so so excited it's like off the charts right now it's cool it's so cool so many different so many different groups use so many different things to power right right look at look at now we have we have cars that power off of gas we got cars that power off of water hydrogen electric Imagine what they got yeah. already existing. Yeah, we'd have a lot more if it wasn't being suppressed, of course. But yeah, yeah. Well, that's 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 another reason why Dad has given us everything because of what we had to endure. Okay. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. So, um, John Jr. said that um, Q, the Q movement was founded by what he called the Illuminati. So. I guess the, the question was, is, was a Q movement founded by the bad guys or from good guys meaning to be good, uh, but just got side, it went sideways? Um, it was, it was, it, it was actually a, a mixture of both mostly military intelligence. Right. Um, okay. But it was, all, it's also a psyops and that's why I keep trying to, you know, expose it. Initially, I wanted I wanted it to be real, and I even promoted it too, yeah. until I realized that they were doing certain things against me, oh. and and that's when I was like, okay, I see what y'all doing. Yeah, well, so, they were in control is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we talked about the real a couple times on the videos. Will love and light kill the real? drones or do they yes you will okay the, the answer is yes uh love and light kills everything that's dark okay that's that's why we use it love and light blankets put it around entities put it around people it's the most powerful form of energy there is which is dad love light yeah um and, and the answer is yes to that when that guy was doing that um, that extraction, that's what he was using, his own love and light energy to extract it. Wow, trap it, pull it out. That's it. That's all. Okay. People have to realize that this is the case. This is real. When you're having a bad day or where something's not going your way, it's you got some type of attachment to you. And we all know, those of us that know, know that the reptilians can come into your field take over you and treat you like a fucking robot and have you do what they want you to do. And that only happens to people that are low vibrational energy people that are stuck in their ways, that are taught this and taught that, that are stuck in these religious groups. That's all it is. So free yourself from the bullshit. <laughs> Well, you know, I have curiosity. I told a bunch of people yesterday in my travels, I was talking with JFK Jr., not one of them, not one asked a question. Like, are you kidding me? You're not even 
You don't even ask, want to ask one question? Like, is it real? Nothing. No curiosity. Well, I mean, you know, the, the government did a wonderful job and mind fucking everybody. Totally. Literally. Literally. That's why I look so crazy to people. <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I'm crazy. I am crazy. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. That dude's crazy. <laughs> he got some crazy shit going on. That's some voodoo <laughs> shit. Let's not go over there. <laughs> and if and if my products didn't work like you know the guy says, why are people buying it? Yeah. Yeah. Why are people supporting me if 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 my stuff isn't isn't working or if my training, okay? Forget about the products. If my training wasn't real or legit, why would I have the supporters that I have? I've, I've successfully, I'm going to say it again, I've successfully taught everyone how to reproduce the healings and the altering of reality in a beneficial way for everybody. How do you destroy darkness? You put heavy love and light around it. How do you get people to stop lying? Same way. How do you expose people? Same way. You put heavy love and light blankets and then you put a command in place. Hit that individual, have them expose everything accidentally on purpose. <laughs> Why would why would I why would I put a request out there to expose everybody for what they really are if I'm not who I am? I taught y'all how to defeat me by truth, love and light. I can't be defeated because I operate that way, no matter how crazy it is. Okay? Cuz I admit daddy has me saying some weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it even gets embarrassing but i'm so used to it i'm like okay dad whatever you say because i know the weird shit that he tells me to tell people is because he's about to open up a door and whether they believe it or not he's opening up the door for them too which is why he's having me tell it right. tell it say it right and you You'll be surprised how many people are talking more about some of the things that they've experienced, some of the things that they know. I, I literally answer their questions for them. I leave them speechless. I leave them happy. I leave them with more excitement and hope. And some of them that are, are literally against it, I'd never see them again or they won't talk to me. But that's cool too. You're 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 literally going against daddy when you do that. I don't care. I'm, we're gonna still have fun. So we're gonna continue to spread our love and light to everyone. <laughs> I have seen you operate in person, and you know, again, no agenda other than you're having a good time, you're helping people. And you love them and they love you. And you can tell that just, you know, in five seconds. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Just like just like David was talking about why the, the black folks like him. Because they realize he's 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 he's, he's authentic. He's, he's real. Yeah, he's authentic. Yeah, he's yeah. real, he's authentic. Yeah. So that's why people in the hood and everywhere I go love me because they know. No matter how much crazy shit I say, I keep it real. I don't disrespect them. I help them. I try to help them. I, I do, you know, I educate them. I give them my input. And you'd be surprised how many people that didn't believe me in, in my own in my own town are now reaching out and you know, saying this and saying that. Holy shit, you was right. Sending me videos of UFOs, okay? because we we I planted those seeds years ago. Yeah. I got friends that we saw spacecraft together. Okay? So 
we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. And, you know, I, I, I didn't give anybody, um, I didn't, I don't, I don't try to anyway, give everybody the, 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 the wrong impression or, um, try to do anything that isn't out of my character. If I got to yell at you, you did some stupid, stupid shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we we always have fun. E yeah. Even some of the Jedi's came out to visit while while we was at your expo. Yep. And we we went out. We did. You know, we we went out to eat. We had fun. We had a blast. Yeah. Totally. So I, you know, I, I enjoy the shit. Like I love helping people. Yeah. And you, you know, after after my booth, after my talk, my booth was surrounded. I know. Because everybody was like, yo, this shit is cool. Yeah. How do you do this? How do you do that? Pulling out, pulling out the, the, the devices and doing this and doing that. People using pendulums in front of me. And I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> It's so exciting, and you know your your second presentation with the slideshow, um, and then you know I remember you talking about you had uh, sent seeds out to an orphanage in Africa, and mm -hmm. you showed the pictures I think of their plants and all that. The banana seeds, yep, all of it. Totally effective. Very. Too, that, I mean, it's it's it's. I don't. I don't do things that I don't claim to do things. I actually do things. Yeah, you you did it. And then you showed us the results so we could see the before and after. And that is really effective, but it also proves what you're talking about. And like, if you just said this or that and didn't show any proof, I mean, you know, you can see where people are skeptical. There's a lot of people out there saying whatever they're saying, but um, right. I, I mean, that's part of us using our discernment to say, is this person telling the truth? Is this questionable or whatever? And right. I do it all the time. And I still get the same answer. You're telling the truth. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Why I'm here. If I felt like you were lying, I wouldn't be wasting my time. You know? That's so. true. And that and that's literally how I am with emails. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't, I'm like you, Sue. I don't entertain the bullshit. Yeah, I, I call it for what it is. I was like, I'm ready to jump into the fray. Like, wrong, 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 wrong. What you know? Crazy stuff. You know, you you got you got people coming out of left field. Yeah. Go go back in the left field. Stay over there. Yeah, yeah. So, question about source chosen partners. Uh, you had said, I think last video that there's no marriage in the rest of the universe. Yeah, but there's no marriage, but there is um, reproducing. How about like commitment? Uh, Do the couples stay together, or it's uh, it's it's similar to that, but there's nothing that binds you like they're doing here. Yeah, yeah. So here, marriage is a you know contract, so that you have pay you pay your taxes differently. You know, <laughs> basically. Um, Okay. Exactly, exactly. So the same way daddy's building a royal family here with me and, you know, my 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 um, baby mothers and mates is what happens out there. Right. OK. Um, um, and out there, we have the understanding that we are to produce and multiply. Okay. We, we, we were told to do it here, but somehow it got. Sideways. Twisted, yeah. twisted. Right. Right. So, so um, you had told us way before, after we go through the chambers, we're going to, if we're married, we'll pretty much be with the people we're married to. But if we're single, we'll somehow meet our source chosen partner and we'll know that they're them. Is that still true? Yes, that is true. Um, and you might, you know, it, it it's true, but we'll have, you'll have more understanding of it all. Okay. Like, like you, you know, you might come out and you might not want to be with the person because you realize it was all bullshit. Yeah, like they're not good for you or whatever. They're holding you back or. That's happening now. That's literally happening now. Like you don't need, you don't need the chamber to realize it. Like there's people. <laughs> there's... 
<laughs> there's people there's people separating from each other because they realize yeah. it's, it doesn't serve you yeah. or any good whatsoever yeah. yeah you know you you got you got these relationships where you, you love each other but that whole narcissistic sh shit happens right mm -hmm. and then there's it doesn't it's not serving any purpose other than that person's views of what you should be yes. right so you're going to be you're going to have total freedom that's literally what we're giving everybody total freedom including including you know my queens that daddy's choosing for me they're going to have total freedom and they're going to be the richest they are because of where dad wants them to be and what they're going to do for the people that's what it's about and then the children, my children, they're going to be super galactic beings that are going to go out and do the same thing. Cool. cool. It's very cool, if you ask me. Cool. Very cool. Will we have more than one source chosen partner? Like, I don't know if at a time is a good way to say that. In in um, Let's say we're with somebody a hundred years and we're like, okay, I'm, um, you know, whatever. And then you go off to somebody else that's also perfect or whatever. Like, is that a possibility? It's it's going to be. It's going. To, yes, it is a possibility unless you're, you know, you're you're um, unless you're like a royalty, you it's, you're you're pretty much stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a, a for reason a for instance. Yeah. Um, I can't just have kids to anybody. They have to be to a specific chosen individual because of the royal bloodline and because of what we can do. Now, for everybody else, it's going to be similar. It's just you're not going to be able to have kids to a certain individual. People wonder why they can't have a child to a certain person and then next thing you know, they have another ind individual and all of a sudden they have a child. Oh. So that's how it's going to be. In the future, in the very short, shortly, right? I should say shortly, you'll understand that more. So yes, you'll, 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 you'll be able to stay with someone for a specific time and then dad will say, listen, it's time for you guys to split up. I want you to go here and there. And have children to hear to this person and that person. Okay. So consci okay. consciously, you'll he'll show you and he'll tell you. That's the whole thing about source directors. Dad is literally communicating to you and telling you what to do. So if he says you're going to be here for a hundred years with blah 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 blah, you guys are going to come to an agreement after those hundred years, and then you're going to go over there for a thousand years or 200 years or a month or two months or whatever the case is. Okay. Uh, everybody's going to have to, everybody's going to understand that there's a purpose for it all. Mm -hmm. It's a source directed. It's us doing what dad wants us to do yeah. without no arguing or none of that. We're going to become super loving and super understanding of what dad wants, not what you want. That mm -hmm. whole free will shit, the whole free will shit was for you to do your free will and realize that your free will don't get you nowhere. Do you understand what the free will is now? Free will is you doing what you want to do and then look where we're at. Look where all these satanic individuals are at. Free will. That's where free will got us. <laughs> That's where free will got them anyway. Right? That's where free will got them. We're going to source directives, which is God's plan. Source directives. Source is God. Directive is his plan. So we're going to source directives, doing everything daddy wants us to do. Making life a lot easier for us, for you, for everybody else. Do you do y'all understand what free what, what free will was now? Huh? It's, the Jonah and the whale. It's parameters, like it's it's daddy's parameters that we can operate within the lane, but don't go out of the lane. That's that's uh that's source directors. Free will was going out the fucking lane and doing whatever you want. Yeah. 
So you said Jonah and the whale. Jonah and the whale. Jonah do, wanted to do everything Jonah did, wanted to do. That's why his ass was in the whale. Because he didn't want to go and tell people what daddy was telling him to tell him. Oh. He didn't want to go do tell, he didn't want to go do shit that daddy wanted him to do. So what happened to Jonah? Jonah had free will to do what Jonah wanted to do. Where did it end up? You see the bigger picture now? Is that a real is that a real thing? Yes, it was. Mm. Yes, it was. Everything that 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 was everything that was true in the Bible, we'll go over it. It was true. This was true. That was fake. I'll tell you straight up. That was fake. That was bullshit. Jonah, Job. Remember how I said last time, we're all Jobs. We're all doing the right thing. We're all being treated like shit because we continue to do the right thing. Right, right. We're all Jobs. Right. Jonah, Jonah and the whale. You got free will. Go do what you want to do. Dad is telling you to do this, but he's giving you free will. Do this or do your free will. Let's see how far you get doing your own shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're all moving into doing what dad wants us to do. Source directors. Yeah. And Does we that all, make sense? We all get that red flag feeling when we're tuned in. Like, oh, it's, don't do it. And if we do it anyways, it never, ever, ever to infinity works out. Same kind of thing. Listen to your gut, your feeling, your the words, however you hear it, and do the right thing at the get-go. And you just, life goes a lot smoother, you know? Right. Yeah. People say something, right? right? Something told me to do this. Yeah. yeah. That's daddy. That's source directives. Yeah. That's what source directives is. Daddy telling us what to do. Right. They, they get that gut feeling, which is, you know, they call it gut feeling. Call it for what it is. It's that. It's not a gut feeling. It's not something. It's that. Do your source the rest or do free will. You're going to find. We know ahead. we know right from wrong. We know what we're supposed to be doing. Sometimes we want that. And we know it's not the right thing. And we get that feeling, but we do it anyways. Then we get all sorts of stuff happen to us. We're and, 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 and and you find out later on that if you would have did this, you would have got that anyway. <laughs> in a better way than we can even imagine, you know. In a better way. In a better way. Which is why all of the wealth in the world is being taken and redistributing to all those that were doing the right thing. Right. So all of that fame and fortune that these guys took the shortcut for, we're going to get by continuing to do daddy's will. Right. right. Boom, mic drop. Beautifully said, by the way. So it, It's the truth. <laughs> One of the things <laughs> David said in uh, the other interview was um, that kings and royalty intermingle and they serve. And you've said the same thing as well. Because and it's true. And, and look at you've intermingled. You've had all crazy stuff happen to you. You work with the people. You're not sitting there like like some of these like other rulers or politicians. They're just they're not even in touch with the people. They don't even know what the that's, people are that's, doing, you know, exactly. Exactly. And that's one of the reasons why I was offended by the individual like Wolverine saying I was a millionaire. I was doing all this other shit. Yeah, I can't be a millionaire because I'm gonna give this shit away. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I I can be a millionaire. I'm actually more than a Google a Google Google Plex Air, right? <laughs> <laughs> however, however, we're walking into that. Yeah. Now you know if I had the money that I I wanted. Or that I, if I had the money that I wish I had now, I would have. I would give it all away. I literally would. However, that's not happening. That's not in the cards right now. Yeah. That's the reason why Dad had everybody go go out and get the foreign currencies, because we're, he's 
it's literally going to happen. It's, he's, he's making it happening everywhere across the board. And people like, you know, these individuals, even though they've been a part of it and helping everybody and educating people, they weren't educating them the right way. So they're not going to experience it. Yeah. Thanks for warning everybody. Thanks for educating everybody. Now we're going to show them the truth. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're quite entertaining too, but it's just too much time anymore for me. You know, like um, they're all, they all say the same thing. And of course, Charlie Ward is the leader, you know, and I'm like, are you guys out of your mind? You know, but. And and you the other day you had a picture of King Solomon's crown on your channel. That was the real crown. That's the real crown, and it's my crown. Wow. King and Solomon is my great my great 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 grandfather. Wow. He was a fucking he was a wild ass dude, by the way. Sick dude. Like he wasn't all, you know, he wasn't all there. I mean, the man had many wives and concubines and all that shit but he also experimented with animals and shit like that oh okay so you know these are things that i know because dad tells me and it's also a reason why he's not here um so <laughs> <laughs> my my bloodline is beyond king david which is even off world okay and the, my royal symbol is the flower of life. Okay? I mean, you know, it's all starting to make sense now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny the way you said that. So, um, today is <laughs> Sunday. All right, so a lot of people are, like, really excited about this football game that they don't even watch football. And I'm like, why are you excited? But, um, can we work on like putting a bubble around it and like I don't know. Um, it's already it's already done. It's already taken care of. Um one of one of my uncles called me this morning accidentally. Actually, it's not an accident because we all know accidents don't happen. But he called me asking me if I was gonna watch the football game. And I was like, What? What? You know I don't watch that shit. And he's like, Oh, oh, is this John John? I said, I said, yeah, man. He's like, oh, shit, I thought it was, you know, my other cousin. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, all right, I'll call you later. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. But he said, I'm going to call you later. I'm going to let you sleep. But he, he knows, he knows, he knows a lot of things and he's waiting for it and he's hopeful for it because he, yeah. You know, he, he he likes what I'm saying I'm doing. He cracks up laughing when I'm telling him things. And he's excited about it. He wants it to be true, but he's just on the fence, yeah. right? Yeah. But uh when when I when I made the call to come here and 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 made the call for the resort, I did it in the backyard next to him by his pool. So he knows that I'm that I'm I'm for real. He just don't know the whole yeah. thing. So he's excited. And I tell him that, you know, we're going to do all this stuff, man. And he's like, man, I hope so. Hurry up. Yeah. So we're everybody's yeah. excited. A, a lot of my family are also hope, hoping. You know what I mean? They won't, like, sometimes they'll watch some of these or whatever, but they don't do the work but they're waiting, you know what I mean? And it's like, they want me to inform them. I'm glad to do it, but it's like you know, the information is out there. Just watch these videos and then yeah, it's branch out. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Um, if we had you guys on board with us and helping us manifest everything despite your own belief system, it'd be greater. It'd be okayer, right? Yeah. Okayer. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, you know, it doesn't mean that they're going to be left behind. They just won't be invited to certain parties, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but it's cool. I mean, yeah. eventually they'll they'll get right with the they'll get with the picture and they'll understand that they themselves are energy, and that if they focus on certain things, they'll help things move along faster. 
which is cool because that's where we're at anyway. That's where we're going. That's where we are. Um, that's what it is. And um, they'll get there when they're supposed to get there. So it's cool. Yeah. A few years ago, you told us that um, only uh, a certain vibration or higher, those of the light, could get into the Destin area. And you talked last time about how some of the people that live there are leaving. And right. um, so it's kind of like Destin has an energetic bubble or field around it of only a certain vibration or higher. Are there other places on the earth or will there be other places like that besides Destin? Yes. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, that's that that's going to be the case for for a long time. And up until the the um, the entire energy of Earth takes place, locations like this uh, will remain the way they are until the rest of the world experiences it uh, or changes, if you would. Right. Um, yeah. We're we're even going to put a, a another dome type energetic thing even in, in this area, so that you know certain things won't come in, mm -hmm. like um, these genetically modified um, winter uh, events. Um, so we're we're going to do a lot of things, and we're going to, we're doing it in the open. That's the thing about me. That's the thing about what I'm doing. That's the thing about what we're all going to be doing. We're going to do it in the open. Um, we're not. The people have to understand those of you guys that are out there doing all of these nice projects that are being, you know, that are doing it secretly. You guys ain't fully coming out with everything because you're afraid or you're being taken out because you're doing it in the dark or in secretly not that you're dark you're doing it in, in in areas where you're not coming out publicly and then it just gets shipped you know swept under the rug you get killed your shit goes to the patent office and they put it in some warehouse and shit like that stop doing that shit come out in the open tell the people what you got the people will back you okay I'm living proof. If you if you need help, if you need a simple command, uh, whatever the case is, reach out. That's another reason why I tell you guys to start doing the right thing and daddy will protect you. You want to come out with cool devices like um, um, Maxwell with his free TV device, Moses West with the um, water, the water device. They're not the only ones doing it. There's other people all around the world doing it. Okay? I've seen it. We know because daddy wanted y'all to share it and y'all did. There's other devices that you can put on top of your house and it generates water out of thin air. Smaller than what um, Moses West got. There's other people that already got you know, little devices that power houses using frequencies smaller than what Maxwell got. So there's lots of people doing cool things already. So the more and more you come out with it, the more and more you're protected because public opinion is what matters right now, if you haven't noticed. So let's go. Let's get it done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and we know that uh, Chile has just um, been hit with some dues, like maybe a, a week and a half ago. Like I saw that happening, and now we're seeing, you know, more video and all that. Same kind of situation as Hawaii. Um, Same exact thing. And I, I heard something about water, like they, they switched the water, they turned the water off so they couldn't fight the fires or whatever. But I guess the question is, why did they hit Chile? The same thing. They want to. They want to. Uh, you know, create um, a beautiful oasis and get rid of the people and do all this type of shit and the land grab and all that stuff. There's even now. Now you got people 
making funny videos of them painting their houses blue because they realized the same thing happened. A laser came out and hit everything. Yeah. Same thing they did in Russia. Yeah. Now, there's there's consequences for it all. Just because the media is not exposing it or sharing it or, or um, talking about it, that don't mean daddy ain't having us address it. And they're only getting away with things that he allows them to get away with. Period. Got it. Okay. I want I want to take them all out. Like I, I really want this shit to be over with. Like now. We know it's over. We know where we won. Daddy won. We know. We gotta we gotta allow the process and um walk into the new reality and Shit like this is a part of it. Okay. Yeah. So I wasn't sure if there was a, a broader reason, but it's basically a land grab, is what you're saying, and a way to depopulate that area. Horrible. Okay. It's the same thing the same way. I mean, they could have they could have did the same thing to Palestine. They could have did the same thing to Palestine, right? Why didn't they? You want to know why? Yeah, that would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because Palestine is where they've been doing the harvesting and, you know, sacrificing forever. Yeah. Because of what the, the land actually stand for or what they think it stands for. Right. You know, that was one of the places where I was born a long time ago. Right. When I say I was born, I mean my energy, my consciousness, me. So what be what 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 better way to slap their creator in the face and think they can do better things than than him is to torture the people where his son was born at, right? I mean, think about it. Uh, yeah. Well, not only do they grab the land and the resources, they have their organs, their human meat, their fun with um, torture and killing. I'm sure there's other well, reasons, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why do you have a skin bank? Yeah. Why do you have all of these meats and human meats and where is it coming from? There's some weird, there's some weird shit happening. <laughs> yeah. We all know, we all know what it is now, yeah. and all of that is coming to light. You know, the whole reptilian factor, you know, all of it's coming to light. You don't, we don't eat ourselves. We're not supposed to. We don't kill each other. We're not supposed to. We don't wake up thinking about who, who we're gonna. Kill. You know, today, we're not hardwired that way. We weren't made that way. They do it is because they were programmed to. They were taught to, mind wiped, mind fucked. MK Ultra, you know, all of this brutal shit, you know, all of these rapes and all of these different things that they do to the children to fracture their brains to allow entities to take them over. That's why we're in the play, the, the, you know, free will. That's what free will got us. Okay. Wow. But it's over. It's over. Behind the scenes, it's a done deal. In the public's eyes, it still has to play out so that everybody else realized it was true. Right, right. All right. Switch of topic to a lot of random questions. Uh, the, <laughs> the lottery, like they, they promote the lottery here, at least, as um, uh, proceeds go to older adults. Proceeds go to the education system. Benefiting um, older Pennsylvanians. Yeah. That's what ours, that's what ours said. Have any of those guys ever seen a penny from that lottery? Fuck no. Just um, like just like you didn't see nothing from the roads and the taxes and all the other shit. All the 
tolls we pay, paid to drive on those private roads, they've only gone up, all right? And I know there's maintenance, but come on, there, that road's been paid for for 50 years, you know? Uh, another pet peeve is, um, uh, it just went out of my mind. Wow, that is so weird. But um, basically, can we light that up? The guys that plan that, that are basically taking the money. And I, I feel like the average person needs to be educated as well as to where the money's going. But can we do something there as well? The, the, yes, we're already doing it. And the money is going to fund their wars and their harvesting and their black programs. That's where the money's going, right? right? They they say they say oh we're going to send a couple billion to to um to to aid uh, help the Ukraine yeah we're going to do this we're going to do that so they're basically showing you in your face where your money's going yeah, yeah that's perfect not, not not to mention they can print the money anytime they want to so it's all bullshit all of it you're telling me you're sending all of this money over there but you can't do this here you can't reprint money to do that there okay thank you thank you very much because now all this shit y'all done showed us i see why we got d blue thank you have a nice day <laughs> the other thing i was going to say is years ago there was a lawsuit against the tobacco co companies and billions and billions were supposedly paid to each state. And again, it was going to go for the school systems and the education and this and that. They never saw a penny of it. So that's the same sort of thing. Corruption, you know. That's exactly what it is. And who, who's, who's doing it all? Same guys. Who, the same guys. Who's in charge of it all? Yeah. The same guys. Matter of fact, you talked. We talked about how. Um, uh, the U.S. is going out and doing all this shit to all this, these different countries. Yeah. Okay, well, the last time I checked, England was in charge of it all. Prince, Prince, um, or King, King Bubblefuck, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen, the, the Queen of England. She owns the bar. Who's doing all the collections for the IRS now? The bar. Okay? At gunpoint now. At gunpoint in some cases because daddy's not allowing it all. Right. Daddy's shutting them down left and right. Some of them even got evaporated today. So these individuals are realizing that they are working for the dark side and they don't want to work no more either. So we have a lot of things happening in, in the favor of the people. Hmm. The people are waking up to the truth about the IRS not even being a part of the United States government. Yeah. We have we have Cheryl Jackson talking about when she was in court that she told the judge that she was a federal agent and the judge said no you wasn't. She's a she's a she's an IRS agent, and the judge tells her she's not a federal agent. Whoa, whoa, holy shit! So we've been lied to. Yes, you have. Not to mention, they're now putting the bar associations, which is the laws, the judges, the lawyers. Now they're commissioning them to collect the IRS taxes from you. Mind you, they all have dual citizenships as well. This is getting good now, ain't it? It's insane. Well, listen, if y'all don't want to do the cleanups, we will. I'm more than happy to. <laughs> Literally. I'm, I'm super happy to. Because when I do the cleanup, shit is shit is getting cleaned up real good, so mm -hmm. clean, yeah, that nobody will be able to find you. <laughs> Call me crazy if you want to. <laughs> well, I'm not. 
Go tell, go tell all the military generals that smart. He's crazy. Let me, let me, go ahead. Email them, call them, tell them that smart. He's crazy. I want to hear what they tell you. Yeah. Well, look at this. We're doing an interview. I've got random questions. We're bouncing around. You're able to answer every question. And if you don't know, you'll say you don't know, but you know what's going on behind the scenes. That's because I'm involved with it. Yeah. Yeah. Should be pretty. That's because that's because I'm involved with it. Like your your first question was about Charlie Ward. They wanted to they wanted to take some of our assets and put them into a cryptocurrency and control it. Fuck no. Yeah. Get out of here with your bullshit. Yeah. Don't trust none of them. None of them. Period. None. Don't trust the government. Don't trust Trump. Don't trust nobody. None. They're going to have to prove themselves. Like I have. They can't stop me. Okay. None of it. Awesome. Awesome. We had talked about eating pork several videos back and i wanted you to state what pork is again for the record because um when i did a little thing on meat and i didn't but i got slammed about the meat thing and i just want to point that out to people again okay well <laughs> you, 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 you ever seen a you ever seen a black a black boar yeah all right i'm sure you, you know what a human looks like because you look in the mirror now imagine a human mating with a black boar. Do I gotta say something else, or or, or uh, am I done? Yeah. So it's a it's the gateway to meat gateway meat to cannibalism. That too, yeah. Yeah. So, pork is not a great thing. No, it's it's it's. I mean if. If you look at it, somebody do the research. You'll see that there's there's similarities to human is super super, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Was the ice ring created? Yes. Okay. Because we see old maps that don't have the ice ring. Would it be within the past like three four hundred years? Um. Uh, I'd say I'd say yes to that too. However, not everywhere there's an ice ring. Oh, not not everywhere. They make you believe that the whole thing has an ice ring around it, but no, it's not. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, some of it is just some of it is just the energetic dome, and you can't go past it. Okay. Um, what, uh, FYI, you you y'all seen Wonder Woman? Mm -hmm. Did y'all see the movie Wonder Woman? You see how he went through the boat and went through a different portal, uh, or not a portal, but went through the energetic dome yeah. and ended up ended up in a certain place. Did you see an ice wall there? No. So basically, their island was shielded or cloaked or whatever you might want to say. So energetic dome, and he, like, I don't know if he crashed his plane or whatever but he ended up in there somehow yeah he went he went through it yeah he went through it um uh um wakanda i was just gonna say that yeah wakanda yeah black black panther black panther movie wakanda yeah the energetic dome was there yeah. right the reason why the ship was allowed to go through it because the ship was of a certain vibration yeah. and it flew through without a problem now try going through it if you don't have the right vibration or the right intentions, um, it's not happening. In in the book Atlas Shrugged, which is like about a billion pages, toward the end, they have a cloaked land, if you will, where people are free. They're free to invent and do all the stuff that the government has prevented them from doing. Like if you read the book, like everyone's suffering, all the technology is breaking down, blah, blah, blah. And one by one, the scientists like kind of go missing, mm -hmm. end up in this land that's cloaked. And that was written, yep. in, I don't know, the 40s. 
Yep. See, that's literally what they've been doing, and there's evidence of it, which is why some of the Germans were taken from there and brought here and then taken to other places like Argentina and then um, Antarctica and shit like that, okay? Okay. They got, they literally, they literally had all of the top scientists by gunpoint taken. Now, that being said, that's why, that's another reason why I'm here and I'm doing what I'm doing with these devices that I make. And I'm doing it in a way where you're realizing that a device can be programmed to do whatever it's programmed to do if you have the right intentions, if you have the right energy, the right frequencies, and most of all, the backing of our creator, which is that. That's why my devices do what they can do. Now, that being said, imagine all of the devices that we already have in place, and all we're doing is waiting for a simple last choice, last choices of some key individuals. And when those choices are done and made up, and whatever the case is, we open up, or not open up, but we uncloak and we release what we have that is far superior than anything the earth civilizations have saw have seen or saw that's what we're doing so that's why yeah that's why you don't have walls i mean uh, cords onto a chamber that's why we don't need energy or you don't need to plug in our replicators that's why our crystalline chambers not chambers but our ships don't have doors because we are a super advanced energetic um, beings that were created by our father to do what we're doing, which is liberate and protect and heal and uh, all the above. I mean, if you, if you was to look at us, all you would see is nothing but white golden light. And we're stuck in this shit. This the meat suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's why that's that's why I say I'm not, you know, I'm not stuck in here with y'all. Y'all stuck in here with me now. <laughs> so we may as well make it beautiful. That's what I said. That's what I said when daddy told me that I inherited all this stuff. I said, You're saying I inherited a fucking shithole. <laughs> I inherited a mess. Yeah. You're going to clean it up. All right. I got you. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's go. So, if I got to stay here for all this time, I'm making changes. That's literally what I said to him seven years ago when he revealed to me who he was and who I was. I says, is that so? Do I have a choice? Yeah, you got a choice. I thought about it because I was stuck in a certain mindset where I didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to have to rule over everything and tell people what they can and cannot do. And, um, um, you know, all right, I'll be king. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I, find out, I find out later that I never had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> so. Directives, right? Exactly, exactly. So, so since I am what I am, and I can do all these wonderful things that dad tells me that I can do, fast forward, you know, eight years, dad was right. Dad was absolutely right. So. It, well, it is what it is, and we're moving forward. We should all, after seeing all the pictures the past couple of weeks of the stuff you've got in your possession, and of course we know some of the stuff, there should be no doubt in our mind anymore. You know what I mean? There should be no doubt, but if there is, just do your research, You know, look at the videos, look at what you've said, look at what you've told us behind the scenes. Very interesting stuff. Yeah. Plus, we have um, 
we don't I don't even talk about it too much, but we still have the source directives YouTube channel still up where I was training people. Yeah. I didn't charge nobody for that. And if you go back and read it and follow everything that we were doing, you guys can do it too. Yeah. It's still there. It's still up. Source Directive YouTube channel. Go check it out. And, and most of the Jedis in the groups, if somebody's new, we're happy to help. We're, you know, we're answering questions. We're pointing them in the right direction. I mean, you have to do some of the work, you know, but even watching these videos uh, answers questions and expands your consciousness level. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and the reason why I know so much and I, I don't want to know it all and I don't claim to know it all. I know it all. I know it all, all that I asked and all that daddy told me. I know all that. I don't want to know it all. I don't. I just want to know what I need to take care of to get us where we all need to be. Yeah. I've asked those questions and that's why I can answer the questions. Um, and I answer the questions truthfully. And if I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. So, you know, that's, 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 that's one thing you can't take from me. I, I, I've, I answer all the questions with as most, with as, as much honesty that I can. And then daddy validates later on. Um, I guess maybe, uh, I don't know how you're doing on time, but uh, are CMEs real? Um, you know, the sun we've talked about, it's a simulated crystal. But yeah, everyone's talking about CMEs and the energy there. Is that a real thing? No? No, that's just like, that's just like the fucking sun flare that drives me fucking nuts. Yeah. Yeah, there's a sun flare. Watch out for the gamma rays. The sun is going to do this. The sun is going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. We're going to get hit with a solar flare and we're all going to fucking change and blah, blah, blah. The sun is going to do this massive blast. They're right. However, it's not the sun with the U. It's the sun <laughs> with the O. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, that's funny. I say it. Um, we had talked about someone. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just messing around. We had talked about uh, st sun gazing, or uh, and I had said it in maybe the last video, and somebody said that they saw hearts, confetti, and random letters while su sun gazing. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Okay. And so I <laughs> point that out like we don't I didn't know what that was, but it's cool. And celebrate. So yay. That's what that says. You know, we 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 we've been getting our asses whooped for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> literally because of because we're here. That's <laughs> why we're here. We're 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 where we need to be. We're, we 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 need to start realizing that we're under attack the way we are is because we are here. We've all, we're it's done. We we you know everything that we ever want we already got. Now you guys have to realize that we are here. The attacks is nothing. Just realize it's an attack. Realize you're stronger. Realize that Dad is with us. We are here. That's it. We're here. We won. It's over. Now, don't listen to what I'm saying and then go and go back to your negative fucking mood. Realize that we are here. We won. It's time to celebrate. We're going to continue to celebrate. Don't worry about what's happening around the world, because at the end of the day, there's some of us that cannot die anyway. And you all know who you all are. Those of you that experience all types of wild shit and still here, that's you qualify. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sun gazing is a real thing, and you can you can live. Another bird. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's one per video. <laughs> so, sun. They, 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 
they they coming in like fucking Noah's Ark. We want to hear the king too. <laughs> the other day, here four birds at random times hit hit my window while I'm I was preparing for my interview, and I was like, "What's happening, guys?" You know, it just seems weird. But well, you know, when you got a lot of energy, everybody wants to be nosy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, sun gazing is a real thing. Um, it's not what you were told. It doesn't destroy your eyes or none of that shit. It's actually beneficial. Um, and, um, you know, I told you guys years ago that you can actually take some of my free holograms and literally absorb the energy off of them and feed off of them because that's what they do. That's, that's an energy field that doesn't dissipate. No matter what you do to it, you cannot take the energy off of my devices, period. So if you wanted to wake up in the morning and put your hand over a coin or one of the other devices and absorb all the energy and feel yourself full, you can do that without even experiencing starvation or none of that shit because all the frequencies are there. This is what the world don't know yet, but they're going to find out. Right, right. Are you still good on timer or... Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna get something to eat. This was uh this was a, a a nice long conversation and I'm yeah and I'm ready to, I'm ready to eat something. Yeah. Okay. I want to say again, as always, thank you for your, your service to us. Thank and... thank you for your service. Remember, I told you what you're doing now. You was gonna do. Yeah, it's, it is really fun. You know? I know. And I of course got really like nervous and jerky, but uh, very fun. It's, it's 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 normal you know you got you got you got some of the uh you got some of the key well you got the key individuals that will be doing what will what will be doing and then you got other other people that let's say that are um um more famous than us than than some of the ones you got now but they're all coming and you have front row seats to them and um um, it's, it's, I, once you realize that none of them are more famous than me, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, <laughs> talking with you is like, like, I, I don't have to prepare, you know? That's, just, that's cause, that's cause, right. That's cause we know each other already. It's like, yeah. it's like, well, a, it's like a brother and sister thing. Yeah. 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 And uh, then you know, I collect other people's questions too, and try to work them all in. But it's it's just fun, you know. It's a fun conversation. But for those watching, do you feel better after watching it? We've laughed. It's ridiculously funny. We've learned some great stuff, and we feel hopeful. We we know what's happening. We we have faith again, and it's really a great thing what you're doing. So thank you. That's the key word, faith. Yeah. And thank you too. Stop them! Stop them! Stop them! We gotta stop them. <laughs> <laughs> you know they. But now they're in their control room. Like I can't get this line down. You know. Yeah. You no. Know, before we go, I want to say something, and um, I don't care about the results because it's probably a good thing. The people that have been listening to us, they want to quit. They want to quit because they know that what they're doing is bullshit and they want to quit because they don't want to do it no more. And I told them that I'll be hiring soon. Bye. You guys have a good day. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good. We out of here. All right. Thank you again, Smarty. Love you.